everyone welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell from the title is an update on my pityriasis rosea I've had many requests from people asking me where I'm at how I got rid of it what I've been doing all these things so I thought it would be better to just make an update video to let you know what had happened so before I even get into that stuff if you don't know what pityriasis is it is basically this scaly rash that appears all over your skin. Um, typically it appears on your torso area and down your arms. In my case, I had it the most severe on my face, which is apparently very rare. Yes, it was pityriasis um, and I saw many doctors. I went to the hospital and nobody could really give me a definite answer. Um, it was actually a friend who had had the exact same thing and a diagnosis and she said that is pityriasis this is blah 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 and she was correct and i had actually had this about five years ago and the doctors thought it was ringworm and they suggested that i just stop going to the gym that clear it took a long time to clear up uh, and it was kind of a mystery up until now. So for me, what ended up happening was in March, uh, I was extremely stressed out. I would say I've never been that stressed in my entire life. I was finishing school. I also had to still find and confirm my internship. And also my husband lost his job. So all of that happened we were on a trip and I was not feeling very well. I could tell my body was getting sick. Uh, and so what ended up happening was we got home from that trip. Another event happened where somebody hit my car and immediately, immediately my body just shut down and I got very sick, completely lost my voice, never had that before. I had a really sore chest, bad cough, like, bad cold flu sort of thing. Uh, it took me about a week and a half to get over that. Missed school and then I think I ended that on a Wednesday. On the Saturday I got violently ill with the throwing up flu. My whole family did. So the sickness on top of the stress, I really believe the sickness was pretty much, except for the, the throwing up flu was like the norovirus, but still, it still attacks your immune system. Um, everything mixed with stress was just like the perfect cocktail for my body to just shut down and go crazy. So it was March 22nd when I woke up with these dots on my chest and I started noticing them a little bit around my eyes. Uh, I wasn't too concerned because they were very faint. At that point, they were really small little bubbles. That's what they kind of looked like. And I remember my teacher saying like, what's going on? And, and being concerned, being like, you're really stressed out. I think that this is just stress. And we talked about stress management and she helped me. Uh, and then a week later she saw me and she was like, oh my gosh, it is so much worse. Um, and it just broke out. Fast forward to now. Uh, I am, so that was March 22nd. We are now today exactly is June 10th. So I'm going to do the math for you. I finished, I started my internship on April 23rd and I had very minimal dots still there. This is last week was probably the, the first week that I really noticed them all they've all like disappeared. So how did I do it? How did I get rid of them in eight, let's say like nine weeks. Let's, let's just say nine weeks. How did I get rid of it in nine weeks? One is I just cut all the stress out of my life. I basically finished school at the end of March and I had three weeks off, two weeks off, and I just did nothing. I didn't really make a YouTube video. I didn't do any work. I didn't socialize with people. I stayed at home and I relaxed and I did not over stress myself out. And I think that is very important. Um, pityriasis, 
they don't exactly know what causes it, but there are triggers. That's what it seems like, the patterns that happen. So you've either been really sick and your immune system is suppressed and so it kind of manifests that way, or you are stressed and it kind of manifests itself that way. In my case, I had both, so that's kind of what, that's what happened to me. Um, so I eliminated the stress. I know not everyone can do that, but I think that's a very important thing. When I would get stressed out, they would flare up, they would get really, really itchy, especially around my eyes, oh, and it would burn, and I'd just be sitting there going like this, and my husband would be like, stop! It was awful, it was awful. It really only itched around my eyes because it was the most dry there. This, my chest always remained relatively moist. That sounds weird. Um, don't mind this, this is actually like, a little pimple <laughs> there's no pityriasis anywhere on my body on my hands like there's it's all gone like even I had it really bad around my armpits that took a long time to go away that was probably the last of it um, but that's completely gone now okay so no stress uh, I also ate extremely healthy, no gluten, no yeast, because this isn't like a, a yeast infection. No yeast whatsoever, yeah, no sugars, everything just natural, everything gluten-free, um, a lot of just protein and vegetables. Uh, I did not indulge in any way. I lost weight, which was great, <laughs> but it was very difficult, and I think that that really helps the healing process. I juiced. I did the fat, sick, and nearly dead juice every single morning, except I added a pineapple. It's like celery, um, kale, lemon, ginger, and then I added pineapple in there. That really helped. So I was just giving my body a lot of nutrients, a lot of water. I tried to cut back on coffee. Uh, and then I used the uh, Pre's. Pitter this is for pityriasis. And you can get this on Etsy. Um, I pretty much used half of it. And it lasted me like it's still good. Um, and I would just lather myself, my face, my arms, everywhere uh, in this. And I really think that this helped. I know some people don't. I think that it is awesome. I didn't use anything else. It smells really nice. It is pricey. But you just know that this is targeting pityriasis, which there's nothing on the market out there like this. So to me, it's worth the $50 that I paid for it to get this. So healthy eating, no stress. I used the pre's. And then I was also taking a probiotic and lots of rest, like as much as, you know, getting rid of stress and all that stuff. But I was trying to sleep a lot, just letting my body kind of reset. And that was the best because I was very nervous when I started my internship that it would trigger it again, that it, I would be stressed out and it would manifest and that has not happened. So I hope that these tips help. I know it's really difficult. I've been reading some people's comments and I feel awful. Some people have been going through this for years. I really think that to get rid of it, you have to dedicate it's, it's really difficult, like a month, to really focusing on getting rid of it because it will just continue to grow, which is crazy. There is no treatment plan. There's no, there's nothing the doctors can really do. One last thing that I did, I forgot. I also went to the tanning bed. Uh, I don't recommend tanning unless you are trying to heal this, but tanning for a small amount of time, I one day went for like eight, or nine minutes and I was in so much pain that night because my it just felt like it was burning so about five minutes every other day I would go and I think that that really helped clear it up as well um so I like going close up like I have no scarring it's completely gone it's so crazy that it just it came and it went and it did slowly disappear. Every day it started getting better. Um, so those are my tips, how I healed it. I don't have any scarring or any itchiness. My skin is not as oily as it used to be. I will say it very, it dried out my skin very badly. Uh, I had to switch all skincare routine stuff uh, to more hydrating and gentle I can kind of I'm kind of transitioning out of that and it's fine but 
basically that's where I'm at I pray that it never comes back it was awful to deal with my heart goes out to anyone that is struggling with this that have been dealing with this for longer than you know a month or two it's awful so again those are my tips my heart goes out to people that are suffering with this it is not fun it is awful and I know it's really self-conscious because putting makeup on it just really makes it worse uh, so again I hope this helps you if you have any questions I can answer them to the best of my ability I am no expert I am not a healthcare practitioner I am only giving you what I experienced and what worked for me I can't promise that it will work for you but I just hope that you can find some information that you can apply on your pyrisis journey. So thank you so much for watching. I truly hope that if you're suffering, you get better. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you again for another video. Bye.